I've been learning Unity game development for five months now, and for five months I've been trying to give my very first subscriber, Dominic, exactly what he wants to see. And the only issue is, I don't know what A is. In my last video, I finally released a game for Dominic to play for free, but I never expected what happened next. I got a comment from an account called Dominic Bood, exactly like my Dominic, and for a moment my life was complete. He was proud. I'd finally done it. But then I noticed something. See, this account had been created the very day the comment was left. That means this is an imposter. That means that our search for the real Dominic, who left the very first comment on this channel five months ago, has never been more important. Excuse me. Are you yeah. Dominic? No, I'm Bill. Dominic, if you're watching this, I think I finally figured out what your very first comment meant and what will bring you back to us. You want me to make you a mobile game. This month, I decided to give myself 12 hours to build my first mobile game ever and actually release it to the stores. And if you didn't notice, this is a brand new channel with only 5 videos, so if you're interested, please hit subscribe, the bell, and let's see how fast a channel with 800 can hit 1000 in 2023. I started with a white circle. I gave the user the ability to move left, right, and jump in the air. The first obstacle I added was a red square. I duplicated this and spread some spawn points across the top to get the core gameplay going as quickly as possible. I created a system to spawn the blocks on an interval, but also limit the number of blocks that could exist at a time. I added a taller blue block and now the game was already shaping up. After adding a wider block, I made the decision that everything was just a bit too big and I didn't like the way that it felt. I made everything smaller and made 10 columns for the blocks to be able to spawn in. I also raised a number of blocks that could exist at any one time to 20. The game was honestly already so much fun to test. Next, I quickly added an even longer block before beginning on the UI. It was at this point I decided this project needs a name. But in the end, the name just came to me like it always does. And from then on, the game was called Block Go Down. And now came a very important question that doesn't really get answered until the very end. How would the user control the character? Until now, I have only worked with PC projects, and that means the classic AWS and D controls. For this game, my first solution was a left and right and jump button. It definitely worked, but I think I came up with a much better solution later on. After the game over and pause screen UI was built, I was basically done with the core mechanics of the game. Although I did spend a lot more time tweaking almost everything. But now it was time for all of the art, and I decided on a pixel art style and if you've seen my first video you know that I'm not exactly a pixel artist oh my god wow but from the beginning I really wanted this to have that classic pixel art style or at least as close as I could get it. And I knew the UI would be the easiest part to design, so I started by drawing all of the buttons. And since all the functionality was already built, it was easy to drag in the new images. After that, I decided to get started on the main character. I knew I was going for a dungeon castle kind of setting, so the main character is this little knight. And since I'm working with pixel art, the animations meant drawing different frames for his idle, running, and jumping animation. Now, all I had to do was add the block textures. The actual block may or may not be heavily inspired by Minecraft, cobblestone and the background is basically the stone brick texture as well in order to add some light to the otherwise very dark castle i drew a wall mounted torch and animated the flame to actually give it light i followed a tutorial by the unity lord brackies himself and i cannot tell you how much this improved the overall look of the game seriously it went from this to this now remember the issue of the game controls from earlier? I made the decision to remove the buttons and allow the user to control the character by simply tilting their phone and tapping the screen to jump. So now anybody who downloads the game is going to look like one of these idiots. I really like how it cleared up the display as well. Now all I had to do was add audio for everything that should make a sound. I had a lot of fun creating the title song for this game and you may or may not recognize it from somewhere else. I decided to add an advertisement if you would like to continue the game after you die without starting over. This means it's up to you if you see an ad and you never have to if you don't want to. Then began the very long journey of actually publishing this to the stores and I would be lying if I said it didn't give me a headache or two. But it's finally there and the links for you to download the game are down below so maybe check it out but before i show you some gameplay make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video where i turn this game into an augmented reality escape room challenge with real world consequences anyways here's some gameplay <laughs> 